Hello everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to explain to you uh, how functions work in C++. So first of all I've created a little document explaining uh, how you declare a function, what the different types of return values are, and a little example. Uh, and after this we're going to go into the code and actually make some ourselves. So first of all the declaration, how do you make a function? Uh, you first specify the return type. Uh, I'm going to talk about the different return types soon. Then you specify a name, like what name you want to give it. Uh, and then between the, the soft brackets you specify all of the different attributes necessary inside of the function. And then of course you end with a semicolon if you're doing a forward declaration that I'm going to talk about soon. Or you don't do that but you use the, uh, the curly braces in order to create a scope in which the function will be like will, will be the function so like in uh, this example uh, between these curly, uh, curly braces is the function everything outside of it it's not part of the function okay the different return types well the basic return types that you have is for instance void integer float boolean double or a class which we're going to talk about next episode uh, or different line of, uh, kind of things like arrays which we're also going to talk about soon uh, and this is a little example. So I've created a, a function that returns a boolean, so either true or false, uh, and it's called is number six. So is this number equal to six? And you give it a number. And then I have created a little is statement that checks if the number is equal to six, and if that's true, then it will return true. So the return type, since we've specified bool, we can return true or false. Uh, and so else I'm going to return false. But if this was uh, an integer, so return, let's say, return number plus five, then we uh, we would have to specify uh, uh, them for, in this case, we would do return number plus five. So whatever return type you specify, you need to return that to using the return keyword. Just like we had in our main function, I think we had that in the previous tutorials, that we end up with return zero. I might have forgotten that, but that's uh, something that you should always do. Give it a uh, return type, the main function. Uh, but why, why do we use functions in C++? Well, for instance, if we have a lot of different things, like we have a lot of different enemies that all need to do the same thing, like we all need to check if they're colliding with something then it's way easier to just make one function that checks collision and then pass in the enemies in the environment for instance than to like uh, hard code the um, like the collision checks for every single one in your main function since that's gonna be a lot of code that is all just redundant and we can just make a function for it and then a for loop for instance uh, so that's one of the reasons why we're always using functions. The other reason is if we're using classes, since classes are highly dependent on functions. Everything inside of a class is uh, accessed via functions or at least, well, all the things that if you want to do something inside of a class, you have to do it with a function. Uh, and more of that will be explained in next episode. So let's now dive into the code. So I've created a little uh, new uh, project in which I'm going to explain to you the different types of functions. So first we need to do the, of course, the return the zero so we know that there's no error. Always give it a return value, I probably forgot last episode. So let's now create a function. Uh, in order to access a function inside of our main loop, we need to specify it above the main loop. So let's create a function that greet somebody. So let's create a, a void since it doesn't need to return an, uh, anything. Void um, greet person. And then in here I want to specify, let's say I want to give it a string like the name of the person. So we create an std string or we can do uh, using namespace std so we don't have to specify std anymore. So we give it a string uh, and let's give it a name called, yeah, just name, since it's a person's name. And then we use the curly braces in order to open a function. 
and then in here we're gonna use the uh, console out uh, let's do a hi and then an and a name then an explanation mark and then an end line uh, by the way someone in the comments uh, asked me if you could use another function called printf so I'm also going to give you guys a brief explanation on how printf works so you have uh, printf it's, it's a function standard in C++ you don't need to include anything I think maybe I stream but I don't think that you have to include anything and then between the, the, the soft braces this is a function so we have to give something inside of the soft braces we can specify whatever you want but there is one fancy thing when it comes to um, printf so for instance um, we can do uh, print number uh, print a number but in printf we can't just do like the push in a number that won't work um, we can also uh, can to plus a number or actually it will work now but the fanciest thing that you can do with printf is you can give it a comma so specify it as a second parameter and then inside of here uh, we can use a percent and then whatever type it is so let's uh, in this type is an integer so we use an i you also have an f and i think you also have a b, uh, b and a c for character so in this uh, this well, in this case it's an i so we use an i and so now it will uh, replace the percent i with whatever we specified and what we can actually do right now is still type after this so now it will just replace this percent i with the 4 in this case so it's a pretty fancy function but I like the uh, C out to the console out a little bit more since it's easier to use so but it's so it's you can do it uh, with printf if you want to that's no problem okay so now we've created our function uh, so let's now cr uh, greet some uh, someone so we, we call the function by typing in a name greet person and then um, we specify a name so it's a string so we use the double quotation marks uh, and let's uh, give it a name <laughs> uh, let's think of a name I've got link on the wall so let's say link and then if we run the program with control F5 it's the first time that's building it so it always takes a little bit longer Then you will see that it says hi link okay so we have a function so let's now create another one let's say we only want to greet specific people and otherwise like not greet a person so what we can do is we can create a, a new function uh, let's give uh, give it a bool uh, make it a, a bool return value like one to greet and then uh, once again a string name so now between the curly braces we we're gonna have a, I, I think a switch let's make a switch or can you not have a switch with no you can't have a switch with strings that's because it's a clash you can't have a switch with it. so we need to use an if statement and else if statements so if name is equal to let's say link because we want to greet link then we return true else let's just create an else for now return false so what we now can do is we can create an if statement with inside of that want to greet and then in uh, as parameters link so if we now move uh, greet person into here we will only greet the person if the name is specified as link so as you can see now it says hi link but let's change this to Bob we, we don't want to greet Bob Bob is a bad person I'm sorry if anyone uh, any of my viewers is called Bob <laughs> it was just an example but as you can see now it doesn't greet Bob but let's say Bob is also nice so we're gonna add an uh, else if statement here and that this name is equal to Bob then it will also return to uh, true 
So now uh, if we call this function again, it will also greet Bob. But hey, uh, what is this? I want my main function to be a little bit at the top. I uh, don't want if I have a lot of different functions to scroll all the way down just to get to my main function. There is a way around that. What we can do is we can forward declare a function. So what, we, uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to take this entire function. We're going to uh, copy it or uh, yeah, I just control, uh, control X and then we're going to paste it down here. But in order to make this work, what we need to do is we need to copy the first part. So the bool want to create string name. So whatever the function is, what it returns and what attribute it has, we need to copy that and we need to paste that up here with the semicolon at the end. So now and only now we can use this function properly. Otherwise it might give us errors and it might be weird. It might do weird stuff. So use the um, forward declaration if you are using a function, uh, for instance, in your main file. Uh, so we're going to do the same with read person. And now we can run the program again. And as you'll see, it will still work. So we're going to greet Bob. Okay. So uh, now we've forward declared functions. We've created functions. Uh, let's now create a function that depends on a function. Yeah. <laughs> so let's um, create a function, for instance, um, a void called auto greet. And it takes in string name. Uh, and what this function will do is first actually we have to copy it so we can create it down here. Uh, what this function will do, it will uh, call um, an if statement with a greet per with one to greet with a name. And then if it's true, it will um, greet a person. So basically what this function does is a wrapper for this if statement. Such functions are going to be really handy when we're going to work with classes and we're going to do stuff like uh, give enemies health, but we only want um, it to be able to see the health and not to be able to modify the health outside of the class. Then we can use some sort of function, uh, a sort of wrapper that returns the value of the health, uh, a, a copy of the value of the health, so it doesn't return the health itself, so it's not modifiable. Okay. But let's now go into our main function and call auto greet uh, on Bob. On uh, we're also going to call auto greet on Link, and let's also call auto greet on Jack. Oh, not Jack. <laughs> okay. If we now run this program, you will see that it will greet Bob. And link but not Jack because we specified that we only want to greet Bob and Link. So this is my tutorial about functions. I hope you uh, learned something about it and next episode we're going to talk about classes. So be ready for that.